In this video, I'm going to talk about hand positioning on the flute. This is a pretty important topic because it's not necessarily clear how to balance the flute, uh, but it should be essentially pinned between three points. Push gently from the thumb in the right hand into the first finger of the left hand and then into the chin. And so this kind of counterbalance system is how the flute remains aloft. And so a student should be able to then pull away every other finger plus their left thumb and keep the flute up quite securely in this position. Oftentimes I see students who use their left thumb to hold up the flute and then when they go to play the note C, for example, they have to move their thumb over to the tube of the flute to keep it held up. I also see their ring finger sometimes being used to balance the flute like here. As well, sometimes the student's fingers start kind of gripping over the bars um, and doing that they often will accidentally hit trill keys. Additionally, the pinky in the right hand can sometimes act as an anchor of sorts, um, but all of those things um, lead to tension, they lead to playing mistakes, and, and they just make it more difficult to play the instrument. So it's pretty important to get it right, um, and it's worth revisiting with your students on a regular basis. Additionally, in addition to the balance system here, which I'll show you from behind where my thumb is placed, it's really quite behind the flute, not underneath and certainly not in front. But in addition to that, the placement on the keys really should be center and not over the keys or on the bare edge, um, unless they have small hands uh, for beginners. But um, particularly the left hand, I, I do see sometimes beginners with short fingers who can't quite seem to place it on the center of the key. But otherwise, we really want to put them center. Uh, again, this is going to be the easiest way to play and really frees them up to move quickly when they need to. Students sometimes like to have long, beautiful nails, um, but it should be emphasized that if they're going to have decorative nails that they really should not be very long because that forces the fingers to do this, which is very unhealthy. Um, you can certainly see how tense my fingers look when they're doing that. And so we want them curved gently um, and placed in the center. The pinky can be a problem. We don't want them to splat pinky. Splat pinky um, is a big problem. Um, when I was in middle school, I had splat pinky, and I lost all feeling in my pinky, even when I wasn't playing the flute. I had to go to physical therapy to fix that. So it's pretty important that we keep the fingers and that pinky curved. Um, I will say, again, for smaller fingers, it might look a little more flat and not obviously curved, and that's okay so long as the joints are not being bent in the wrong direction. So that is hand positioning and finger positioning on the flute.